All right, first off, you're going to start by going to the first link in the description, which should be this bit.ly link. It's going to take you to Canva where you're going to have a template. You're just going to start off, use the template. If you haven't created an account on Canva, it's going to make you create an account, but that's all good. That's going to bring you up with this template. Then you're going to have to find the album you like. In this one, I chose Life of Pablo by Kanye West and then get the Wikipedia page. I think that's the easiest way to go. First off, you're going to start by putting the uh, artist name at the top and then the title of the album on the bottom on this one I kind of messed it up at the beginning but those are pretty easy to find on that you just copy and paste them or you can type them in if you want it's a lot easier to copy and paste and you can stop a lot more of the mistakes then you're going to copy in the release date on the top I think that looks the best then you're going to copy in the record label I usually just go with the first one for like the first one where I put the record label this one is good music so I put you you copy and paste it good Sometimes there's some formatting issues that are kind of weird, but you can just kind of add in whatever, like good music is called good music. And some of the other ones are like, you know, Def Jam recordings, which, you know, is really long. This one, now I change the, the studio album to the seventh studio album. Like if it's like an EP, put it like that or whatever, you know. Then we're gonna go to the recording dates and the length of the album. Start with the length. I think this one's kind of weird with the formatting. I tried a lot and the formatting kind of messes up a lot. So I would just suggest typing in and that's pretty quick and easy. Then you gotta look for the recording date. This one kind of has like a weird long recording session time. So I just put in 2010 to 2016. I like just using the years because I think that looks a lot better on the poster. You can put in like maybe a month if it is just recorded in one month. But I think, you know, the years looks a lot better, especially if it is a longer album. And then what we're going to do is change that to Def Jam at the bottom. I do just like doing the little short names for this, like Def Jam instead of Def Jam Recordings, just because it's a lot easier. Now we're going to go to the track listing and then just you, you're going to copy and paste each one of these. But the first thing you do is you have to like size it for the amount of uh, songs there are. Uh, you just for this one, there's 20, and it, I think it looks pretty good at like this length. Like 20 songs does look pretty good. I mean, I have some of them that are, like I think are like 22 songs ish, and they still look good on my wall, and they they're pretty good for the eight and a half by eleven. So it's not like a bad length. I mean, of course, the smaller ones do look a lot better in my opinion, just because like you can see the titles a lot better. But especially for these where they have the super long titles, like Father Stretch My Hands Part One. It's a lot easier because they will fit and they won't have to you won't have to stretch the box too much and you won't have to like condense the title so like for the longer ones it does work better but i think this one's pretty good and then you're just going to go through copy and pasting all of them which i mean i think is a pretty easy task you just do that and you just copy directly from the wikipedia page once you're done with that you're going to go you're going to search up the title of the album of course this is life of pablo my thing is I think Genius is probably the best site to consistently get good photos of the album covers, but some of the other ones, they are better quality. Genius is always a thousand by a thousand, but either way, I think Genius is a pretty consistent one. They always have a thousand by a thousand pictures and um, they always sometimes will have alternate covers. So if you do want to use an alternate cover, that's a good way to do it as well. Once your image is finished, done downloading, then you're gonna drag it into the Canva thing. And then what, once it's finished like processing and whatever, you're gonna drag it directly onto the album cover. It's gonna like automatically do it or whatever. And then what you're gonna do is, you know, size everything up and then you're gonna go to the colors. There should be five like little things. If there isn't, you can just refresh it and they should pop up. You're gonna place the five colors on the actual thing with the five colors that the album cover corresponds with. And once you're done with that, you're you're done with the whole poster and you can actually download it. I suggest downloading it as a PNG. You're kind of uh, screwed on the size unless you do want to get Canva Pro. But I think it's pretty good either way and I, they do turn out well at that size, so it doesn't really matter. But if you are doing that, I would suggest using my Rakuten link and saving some money on that. This Rakuten link can also be used on FedEx and it should be one of the links in the description, so definitely go check that out. You'll get 2.5% at FedEx and like 30% at Canva and you'll get $30 off your first purchase over $30 and you'll also be supporting me. So I definitely would suggest using that. First off, this is the method for the old one. This also will work on the new one, but just starting off with that one, just because I'm more used to that. First, you're gonna go to marketing materials and click uh, flyers, which you know will bring you up to here. And then you'll be able to drag your file in. So you're just gonna take your download, drag it in, and then it'll you know do its processing thing and whatever. Once it's fully processed, you're gonna get like another screen where you're gonna be able to select everything and 
your file is going to show up a little fuzzy like on here it doesn't look perfect but it looks good enough then you can go to paper you know they used to have paper laser stock glossy but that they, they got rid of that i think that's you know my favorite but laser stock 80 pounds i still think looks really good i've never actually used like the index one or any of these other ones so i'm not 100 percent sure about that but since they're the same price, I'm not like really opposed to them either. And I think they still should look good as well. You can kind of try that out just because these posters are so cheap. They're 125 each for the Laser 80 and the Index um, one. So I definitely would suggest, you know, going for these. They're really cheap and they look good. But these are all 8.5 by 11. So, you know, just make sure of that. You can get bigger ones, but you have to like email them. It's a whole different process. This I just think is the easiest way. But you're done if you're using the old method. And then if you're using the new method, there should be another link in the description for that. Uh, you're going to go down, you're going to scroll down right at the bottom. There's resumes, which are like the, I'm pretty sure they're the only ones you can just print for like one and just customize like that. You're going to go to resumes. You're going to, you know, see the thing. You could, first, you're going to go to the paper type and select laser 80 pounds. There's not as many choices compared to the old method, but I think laser 80 pounds still looks good. And it's the one I, I'm using on the old method now but then you can just directly upload your file. It's gonna take a little bit to load, you know, that's just how it is. It's also like the new marketplace, so you can see that. Then you're gonna drag your file into the thing. It's, it actually looks really good compared to the old one. The old one, everything kind of showed up a little fuzzy. If you did watch that part, you know, go, you know, you, you still see that, but then you can see everything. You can see like the product print properties, which is just like the paper and the stuff you did at the beginning. But then there's also binding and uh, finishing which the lamination, I've never actually used that, but I, the glossy on the regular laser one was a lot cheaper before, but I guess the glossy could look good. I've never tried it, so I wouldn't suggest using it unless you just want to try it as a test run. But either way, I think, I mean, you can still get these and you can still get the posters printed singly in like whatever time it is. And it's still, they still look really good and they're still the same as the ones before. So I definitely would suggest this. You can make your own posters and print them out regularly. Then you go, once you're done with that, you can proceed to the checkout. And then what you're going to want to do is, you know, of course, apply the Rakuten code just to support me as a creator. It might take a little bit to show up, and I definitely just would suggest doing that if you're going to make these posters because you can save 2.5% off of every purchase and then get it back as a cash thing. And, of course, get 30%, $30 off your 30 First, you get $30 of cash back off your first purchase of $30 or more. Then you're going to proceed as a guest. You can make an account. It doesn't really matter though. And then what you're going to want to do is pick up just because you can do delivery, but I think you'll have to order like a lot of posters to get free delivery. You're going to pick it up with the closest one towards you and then you're done.